Hi guys, uh, myself Kamir Vendan. So um, since we have five minutes, I'm just getting started with what uh, this talk is all about. So uh, it's all about building a low code platform uh, in Clojure. So if you are not aware of low code platform, uh, typical programs we develop by writing code. Whereas in low code platform where we allow uh, a business user or a programmer to develop the application software without uh, doing the typical conventional programming. Okay, so uh, we choose one of the project that we recently did in our company which where we did similar kind of platform for one of our client and uh, we leveraged closure the reason why we leverage closure is because of this particular piece like in closure code is data and data is code and since configuration is code so data we just leveraged it and develop the platform so i'm just going to quickly show you uh, a, a prototype of what we did in our project so uh, here what you are seeing is the closure code here I'm just showing you the configuration of building a page. Uh, I just need a page which shows a list of movies. Okay, and uh, here I'm in the configuration. What I'm saying is go and look at the table frame, and uh, I'm interested in the title and the description and uh, the release year. And when you show this list for this table, use this as the column name. Here, just we are describing what we want to show in the page as a definition here. So I'm just running that. So. So uh, if you look at this is the page layout that I'm actually looking at. Like I just want to display a page with only the movies list as my screen. I'm just starting the server which will render the, which will create a HTTP server for the backend to render the page. So now I'm asking to render the page layout. If you look at, now the layout showed up. Now think of uh, you are giving this kind of dashboard to a business user where he wants to put charts to it. So I'm just extending this page layout to for some few more things. This is a new page load where I'm, it's a two column like a kind of a grid where uh, the first rows we are showing a movies list then I'm going to show you a chart. In the second row I'm going to see a customers list where I'm going to see a different chart. So all those things again if you look at all configuration. Here this is a line chart I want to draw and this is the table and x axis this is the column, y axis this is the column. So all the screen that I want to develop I just need showing this as a data and uh, now I'm just running this new page layout. If you look at the entire screen has been drawn. This is a point chart and all those things. If you look at, like the, the client wanted a feature where the business user will come and he will be creating a dashboard for himself. And the dashboard can be uh, contain like a chart, list, whatever kind of things. So whatever we have did here is the kind of prototype. But uh, in a real time we have added all those nice little UI menu and all those things so that uh, it, it to the end user it does not look like whether it is created through configuration or a, through a custom software development. So that's it. Wow, 40 seconds. Sure. <laughs> yes. So the, the, the beauty is uh, the code that we have written. Like uh, it's very uh, elusive. If you look at the DB code generation that I'm just talking about. So uh, let me take the list widget or uh, the chart. That from the definition here, if you look at, I'm just selecting the select and frame. Now from the definition, now I have a representation of a database query. And here, I'm just running that query. Yep. So maybe I can, offline I can help you out. Yep. All right, thank you, Tamis. Yep. Okay. 
I want to talk shortly about Backpack in Haskell. What is this and how you can use it and basically just show description. So uh, what is Backpack? First, I want to mention that Backpack is not a Haskell specific thing. It's a general idea and you can implement these ideas for any compiler. But turned out that its first implementation is in Haskell for some reason. So it's just basically a mixing system where you can have uh, files, uh, uh, where you have functions without implementation, only types. So uh, in Haskell, we have very common, uh, very popular way to abstract things. It's type classes. The type class is basically just an interface. But type classes are not enough in some cases. So uh, for example, you want to write polymorphic code, but because of the way how type classes are represented in JHC, they may impose some performance overhead. So this might not be important if you implement uh, abstraction for database access, but it's important for like string. If you have to abstract, like if you want to write a library that parses such something, uh, in, if you want really this to be performant. And if you implement this in a uh, type class manner, you will have some performance overhead. Uh, another reason uh, is that sometimes type classes are not really, uh, just skip a couple of slides. So type class are not really readable. This is the implementation of one of the implementation of type class for the map data types for containers. Because there are like multiple w types for containers. There is map, which parameterized by two type variables. And there is int map, which parameterized by only one type variable. And because of that, if you want to implement type class which captures the both class, it will be really hard. We'll use type families, functions from types. The interface will be complicated and the abstract code which is written in terms of this type class will be really scary to read. The whole idea of having an abstraction is to write abstract code. But if this code is really hard to understand, really hard to read, there is uh, actually no much benefit. You can just copy paste code. So uh, what is what Backpack uh, brings to the table? So in Backpack, there is a file you uh, call signature file. It has extension hseq. Ordinary Haskell files has extension HS and signature file has extension HSeq. So in this file, you write only data types you need and you write only types of the functions and their names. So you don't write implementation of uh, those functions. And then you can write uh, libraries and packages which are depend only on this interface. So you can type check your code. Uh, here's uh, one example of group by uh, function. You can see that the type is really uh, simple as default. It's just uh, plain Haskell if you compare this to type class solution with type families. But uh, the idea is that you can type check your code. Of course, there is no uh, code generation still because you don't have implementation of the functions. You have only types. But then later, you can substitute uh, some implementation. So you write some abstract functions in terms of uh, backpack interface, signature interface. Then you implement uh, this interface for some data type. So basically for map it's very simple. The types are already match the names and, and types of uh, functions from signature. And then it can be re re even simpler written to roll, remove all boilerplate. So then you can uh, write a function and in your dependencies you specify the, uh, the signature module and you specify the implementation. So we are moving on the package level. On, on package level, you have package that implements only signature. You have another package that implements uh, impl the implementation for this signature, the instance, and then you can combine. And uh, if you name your module uh, in the same way uh, as the signature module, but without extension, this will, uh, the JSC will detect automatically that the signature, the implementation of signature is this module. But if you have multiple signatures, for example, if you have hash map, so there is map and hash map, uh, you can use mix scenes. You can use mix scenes. So you can tell that I, ha I want this function to be named, this module to be named like here, and here I want the implementation of map as a map ord, like order at map. And here you say, okay, and, and I want another module exposed by another name, uh, which uses implementation of map as map hash. Basically, what it does is uh, generates several packages. It's called generation, where you have poly uh, monomorphic functions. So the motivation behind the pack is to have uh, type better like type classes. You have performance guarantees, and you can just write the same plain Haskell. The types are really readable. Yeah, and it works. There are some challenges for int map still because uh, of the way it works, but uh, 
uh, it's possible to overcome these challenges. So the, there's package called containers backpack. It implements the signatures. And you can see uh, how it actually does this. That's so. it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.